In today tutorials we are tracking how coronavirus that affected the world here we are using linear algebra to train the data model using python programming before get into tutorials please like share comment and subscribe our channel it is the required output about corona analysis using python our output is mainly focusing on how Many people are dead in the world by coronavirus. This is just an analysis about that disease. Let's start to code in our notebook. When we are dealing with analysis, we must use these modules, modules like NumPy, Pandas and for graphical output we must use Plotly and Matplotlib libraries. So we need to import the all the modules that we mentioned previously and these modules help to analyze the data and it produces the better output. Plotly is the one of the best library for graphical related analysis so I personally suggest to use this module for data analytics. Here we need to use OS module because we need to access the data from our system so we need to Import OS module to get file for our analytics. This for loop check the specific directory that we given in the program. Here my data is stored in specific disk. Using that data we are going to make analysis. Again we need to declare a for loop. This loop continuously checks the folder and also this loop prints the file name with it on directories, this is the main function of the loop. After finishing the loops we need to read the data, so we must use pandas module to read the data. Here we are using pandas to read the data in that folder and this is the syntax to read the data from csv file and you need to mention the file name and path of the file in the syntax. Here coronavirus is the csv file and we are going to read the csv file. There are totally 10 columns are there we need to use that 10 columns to make analysis. Here we need to drop the columns for reducing the problems when you see the CSV file we have one extra column that is date column if we add this we cannot plot the data clearly. After that we need to create a function this function help us to plot the points and it shows graphical outputs. Here we need to predefine the figure size, it is easy for you to understand your chart clearly we need to give figure size that means radius and circle length to get a clear picture. After that we need to start a plotting process, a plotting points are country and date using this we need to form a pie chart. We are dealing with graphs we need to mention the axis so here we are mentioned the x label for x axis and y label for y axis. Here x axis we need to plot the date. And in the y axis we need to plot the infected people ratio that is present in the CSV file.
After finishing plotting process, we need to create a for loop. This for loop plays major role in the process of plotting the data using the for loop we are calling the plot growth function. This function plot the data in the CSV file. Repeatedly, this is the main function of this for loop. Again we need to create for loop this loop used for making the pie chart using the data in the CSV file. In the pie chart we need to assign the values such as country, date, infected, people, ratio. After that we need to create the pie chart in our notebook. So here it is this the output, we can easily identify the places that are infected by this disease. And another use is we need to shift the people from one place to another by using the state at these are the main function of this program. Thanks for watching like share comment and subscribe our channel for more updates.